Greetings, I am Lies, and I use she, her. And I am Scandal, and I use they, them. And let's, let's play a game, game together! together. <laughs> Alright, so we had the lovely discussion about Rabu, which I think is adorable. Uh, it's a very cute concept. Rabu, Rabu. Rabu, Rabu. And now Rabu. We, we shall go forth, and, and you will have the whoa, southern accent. Hi, Ty. Y'all lost me on the roadside there. <laughs> well, uh, that's how it is. But right that seat, there's my private property. Y'all remember that now. <laughs> a new encounter in the little birdcage. Today is a good day. I... Sounds like it's a, meant to be a haiku. It kind of is. I shall make some coffee to celebrate. It takes six hours. No, okay. Yes. Please, sit down. Both of you. Oh, hang on. Are you serving guests as company to the guests? Is that part of the job? Oh, it might be. It's I'm a cafe. A, I'm a maid. I'm an attendant at the cafe. Uh huh. Whoa. And uh, and so the three of us enjoyed an early afternoon pot of coffee. Ha! Uh, coffee pot. Wait, aren't I supposed to be working? Thank you. You noticed the same thing I did. Uh, yeah. No, also, your job training has been nil to zilch. Uh, I mean, the job training involved. Remember, they showed them where all the the stuff was. That's what I mean. It minimal. Yep. Minimal. Very, very bare, bare men. It wasn't really job training so much as, like, location orientation. There's a freaking car in the street. But there's nobody in the car. That's true. I wonder, honestly, like, okay, so it looks like there might actually be lights. You'll have to forgive me. You we might be, now. like, super conspiracy theory about this just because, like, who knows. Uh-huh. Uh, but, like, part of my brain wants to be, like, I feel like they are literally relying on the tropes of a lot of Tome games of not having characters in the background. Mm-hmm. So that's why, I actually, like, I think that, like, birds have taken over the world. Mm-hmm. You know, kind of thing. I don't know how, but it happened. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing, too, honestly. Or at least they took over, like, the inner city and stuff like that. But, you know, unfortunately, the lights thing has been debunked so but it was interesting i liked that theory but this this kind of throws that theory under the wheels Uh Uh uh-huh under the wings you mean under the tires Uh uh-huh because you know we have cars here (gasps) i stayed out on the town for too long and it's late so i guess we just didn't work the whole time or that was the work Uh, yeah on my own of course Of, of course riding the stormy waves of life alone is what we humans are all about Oh my god, though, can you imagine that they basically surplanted your idea of society and went, no, you're apex predators. You hunt and live alone. Your whole idea of you being obsessed with the alpha male and being the top of the food chain, that means you don't hunt in packs. You don't work in groups. Okay. You're freaking loners. Okay. Are you really going to be fucking telling me that a bunch of fucking birds and pigeons are all going to go, ah, yes, you are a species of... Apex predators. Conspiracy theories touting, like, politicized, you know, alpha and omega and betas and oh my god, okay. They sent you out into the world to to have ABO fiction by yourself. By yourselves, damn. By yourselves. <laughs> oh, disasters. <laughs> all right. I'm so horrified. It's what we humans are all about. <clears throat> hey, hey, human. Ha. Sorry, but, oh my like, God. but like, hey, you guys. Hey, human. Hey, human. Hey, human. Uh, it's too late. Uh, oh, what? What? Suddenly, I'm surrounded by a bunch of unkempt pigeons. Oh, they smell terrible, and their feathers are in such disarray. I doubt they could even fly, but if they're wearing leather Pumpkin? jackets, it, it'd be hard to do that anyway, I guess. I'm like... You you glued a mohawk to your head? Yes. Also, if you're wearing sunglasses at night, you can't see anything, bro. Yeah, I mean, also, Zero. like, you're a roosting bird. What the fuck? How are you even functioning? I, I trained myself. I wore sunglasses at all hours of the day and night, so my body thought it was 100% nighttime all the time, but it couldn't sleep that much, and eventually I learned. Oh. Okay. Ah, I actually love that. I'm like, okay, so you're a roosting bird, and when it gets dark, you fall asleep. But your body literally can't sleep all the time and it doesn't go comatose when it does it. So you make it dark for yourself 100% of the time and then your roosting cycle gets confused. And since you're sentient, you can take some agency over it. Oh, I don't think they thought about that at all, but I love that idea. That concept is actually, that is excellent to me. I appreciate that one. All right. <clears throat> you go to St. Pigeon Nations, don't you? I. I bet a rich little girl like you gets a lot of pocket money from daddy, huh? Oh yeah, lone individual <gasps> apex predators that live by themselves totally get money from their dads. 
Absolutely. Also, I love the fact that all of them just have the same voice. Do it. I'm going to do it. They are going to be exactly the same person. They are one of those groups of like, you know, identical like triplet punks that you get in the um, anime. Yes. And they all are exactly the same person, even uh-huh. though they're supposedly different people. Right. This is a generic background character, uh, 5X. Yes. Rich little girl going to a fancy school. Thinks she's so great. Uh, so great. Uh, uh, <laughs> Darn it. I... I... I can't tell them apart. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna come here and bitch you out and tell you you you, you just got a life that I think you have and I'm gonna basically be threatening to you and you're going, why do they all look the same? They're even the same kind of grungy and unkempt. Did you deliberately do that to your feathers? Is this like a style you rubbed gel into them to make them look bad identically, didn't you? You guys are all like secretly powerful makeup artists. I'm gonna come up here and intimidate you, her. Oh my god, you're so uniform, I can't believe it. Oh my god. I love it when there's that much dissonance in a scene sometimes. Right. I can pick Ryuta out of a crowd about 80% of the time, but rock doves I've just met all look the same, uh-huh. especially when they're all wearing sunglasses and identical mohawks. <laughs> Do you have some business with me? If not, go away. Go away. Hey, that's not nice. Show us some cash first. Cash. Oh, wait, sorry. Cash. They buff up their chests. I'm, is that like puff? I think it's supposed to be puff. Do do birds buff? I was wondering what, if I'm buff like, can be used that way. If I buff don't... can mean poofing and Hang fluffing. On, let's find out. I've got to know. What is what is buff? I buff. Uh, definition. Dead also, dead. birds buffing, All right. buffing your chest. So, uh, by Merriam-Webster, let's see. Mm. So, a garment such as uniform made of buff leather, mm. a state of being nude, uh, a moderate to orange yellow or a light to moderate yellow, a device having a soft absorbent surface as of cloth by which polishing material is sur- is applied. Buff. Um, buff having a physique or enhanced by bodybuilding exercises. That doesn't right, sound exactly the same. Buff. I think it's puffed. I think it's puffed. All right. They puff up their chests. Threateningly. threateningly. Through their leather jackets. Hmm. Dumb punks. Picking on girls in the park, because clearly this cityscape is a park. Absolutely. Um, is a good way to get ostracized for life. What? What? You little... They're angry now. My hunter-gatherer instincts can feel a fight coming on. If you are like... I am going to kick their asses and eat pigeon for a week. Yeah! Murder them! Three pigeons on my own. Can I win this? I think I can win this. I think you can. I think I think I can do this. Slam. Slam. Thud. Thud. Bang. And two down. Ah. <sighs> the work of a moment. Some birdie flits forward in the blink of an eye. The doves are knocked to the ground, twittering in surprise. I love the idea. We're all fronting on you. We're all punks. We're real strong. Twittering in surprise. And then... Looming majestically over the fallen doves is... Yes! Yes! A zombie? She is a badass gang leader. She's a girl boss. I knew it! She goes real slow, but she's a boss. Mm Mm-hmm. That was close, Boyder. You sure you should be out this late? Uh, I don't remember what her accent was. You have to fucking what, I said, what the f- Who are you? <laughs> Me? Well. There, that's closer. I'm a passing takoyaki lady. I'm not- <clears throat> You know what? You should know that your ass was kicked by someone who has no- Is not in any way impressive at all. Which means you are lower than the average citizen who has no training of any kind. Yeah. Yep. Tiny Finch murders you. Yep. The dove collapses before the might of Azami's magnificent kick. Wow. S- S- sorry, Azami. I let my guard down. But you look amazing. Easy for a kid to do. Life lesson. So I know you've had some rough times and you've seen some things, but if I'm dating anyone, can it be you? Please? That'd be amazing. Always be prepared. Speak softly and drive a Sherman tank. Carefully and within the speed limits and the lines. You asked for it. You got yes! It. I I knew it. She is so cool. Kakoi! Oh. Sticky dinner! <laughs> ah. 
Doki Doki. Doki Doki. I think I'm in love. Um, Azami? I'm these guys just twittering around and, and like just flapping and trying to get it together uh, on the sidewalk. Uh, and them just like K O and all these like eh, and stress marks everywhere, stars and you know, like and like hash marks and everything. In the meantime, you, Sakura petals flying behind you, bright pink filter of the screen. I'm working at a cafe here over the summer. Near here. Near here. Right around here. I c could I treat you to something sometime as thanks? And kind of like a date? <laughs> Is that part of your credo, kid? Goodbye, me. I don't care if you're older than me. I'd still date you. Oh, God. Azami takes the proffered flyer, mounts her trusty scooter, and puts off into the darkness. Damn, she's cool. This is an that anime was smooth. episode. A heroic entrance and a cool exit. I also love putts off into the darkness, consistently slow and careful driver. Drive a Sherman tank within the line, stopping at all stop signs for a min my minimum of three seconds, always looking both ways before you proceed, and staying below, well below the speed limit. Yes. But not below the mo minimum speed. Yes. Yes. And a cool exit. I hope I can be like her when I grow up. Ah. Wow. 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 Yeah. Today is the oh. local summer festival. I think I'll go with somebody, and it's gonna be <gasps> Asumi. Oh, invite? She won't be an option. Oh, I hope she is. Mm -hmm. No! Dang it! Why is she not an option? Because I would invite her. Who's San again? San? San is the crazy one. Ooh, oh, ooh, okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, that, that's that one. Who just Ooh. like wants to murder yes. things? San okay. Okosan, remember? Uh huh. Yes. Uh, so Ryota, our friend. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nageki, who is your playboy? San, mm -hmm. who is just a little bit hyperactive, and mm -hmm. Kazuaki, who is your teacher. Teacher. Why would you invite your teacher? You really are asking me that question. I shut up. I don't know. <laughs> I told you last time, and you did not believe me. All right. Um. Because I would ask Azami, too. Like, fuck those noise. Uh-huh. I would. Azami was amazing. And we also just canonically went, yes, Azami is amazing. I think I'm in love. Honestly, based on this, um, and the fact that we haven't reacted to anyone in a particularly connective kind of way, except Ryota, I would say we would invite Ryota again. Sure, let's try Ryota one because more time. we also haven't had, like, um, Birder being like, I wish to branch out or interact with more people or anything like that. <laughs> also, apparently, I love the implication just, just now that no matter who you invite, they're going to say yes and go with you. Yes. I'm like, why would they all say yes and go with you? Anyway. I literally have no idea. If it were just <laughs> me playing, I'd invite the, the big one. Thanks for inviting me, Buddha. Come on, let's go. Uh, so many booths. How are we supposed to choose? Use your hunter gatherer instincts, Buddha. Let's go find something to eat. I'll pay. Is that like a dancing little gourd drink in the background? I think so, and that's adorable. Also, you got like candy, like candied apples and like chocolate bananas or something that's like that. That's so good. What? No fair. I'm paying for yours. Here's <laughs> a deal. I'll buy yours if you buy mine. Hmm. Yakitori sounds good right about now. Sounds tasty. Huh? Mm. Uh -huh. And so I spent a happy evening with Ryuta. Yay! Maybe we can go again next year. I love me some Yakitori. Yay! Yay! That was really tiny and cute. It's so small. These are all the tropes. Oh, Rabu. Hi. Oh, hang on. I got my I got my new Joyzy accent mixed up. Hang on. Um. Rabu Southern. I know. Oh, okay. I'm trying to un like actually jersey myself. Hang uh, on, because I just keep going. Ah, time show flies when I'm here. I'm like, fuck. All right, so so Rye. Rye. <laughs> um, time show flies when I'm in here. There you Say go. all around, Kenza Burrow. Hmm. Ha. Uh, that's still you. Uh oh. Uh. Hey, uh, birder. Ha. Huh? 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 Rabu, finally heading home after staying in the cafe for much of the day, gestures to me on his way out the door. Here, this is your tip. It's <gasps> the magical candy from the pocket of an old lady from Osaka. <gasps> How do you know that's what that is? 
So, young men from Osaka can do it too! What the fuck are you talking? Is this a cultural thing? I think that's thing? a cultural thing, basically. Of, of old lady goes, I, I've seen it in anime a couple of times where you get an old lady just being like, You're such a good kid, and they just grab, they just hand you a little candy. Oh. And this is a you know young, attractive gentleman that did the same thing. So it's basically that's identical behavior done by a, a different demographic. All right, I'll see y'all around! I think the lady. Christmas music's fucking gonna end me. Uh huh. I'm like, it makes me so tired though too listening to it because especially when it's just, just like classical. Sleep, I'm like, this is good. I used to sleep to like music uh -huh. like this. Good day to you, Rabu. And Rabu, that Rabu. is the whole cafe scene. That's it. Some of these. Okay, no, it's still cafe. All right. <clears throat> I think it's time to close off. Would you care for something, Birder? It won't be as good after sitting overnight. Is there any Tanjiro left? Of course. I always have extra of everything, just in case you ask for it. What? Hi. Oh, here you are. Oh no. oh, no. Oh, is that a type of soup? <gasps> what Look at is that it? Cup. You have a human riding, oh, murdering a pigeon or chicken with a, a musket. It looks like a That's wizard. That's a wizard human murdering what looks like a chicken, but I assume would be more more. I don't know. Bird. It also could just be ridiculous in fantasy, but it does look like, okay, so basically a wizard with a gun so basically, and like a bird emerging from down below, but I don't know what that we is. We have the magical technology and that looks like I've conquered the bird. I'm standing on top of it. Oh, maybe. And I have, I, I, I have beat you with, you know, weapons of war. Mm-hmm. Mm, I bet that illustration totally means something in reference to this game. I wouldn't be surprised. Mm, Tanjiro from a fancy cup is the best. Mm. Uh, by the way, Mr. Urashihara? Yes? <gasps> Mr. Rabu comes here every day, right? Is he in love with you? He does, yes. I wonder what he does. Is he a night security guard or something? He's a neat. Let's say he's a neat. <gasps> a chauffeur, apparently. He is generally out all night. He likes to come here to relax before work. Oh, that's kind of cute. A bud grieger. I don't remember how to say it. A bud, uh, bud grieger, yeah. I think there was a different emphasis. Budrigar? Budrigar. I think it was that one, budrigar. Yeah. A budrigar who works at night? There are those among us parrots who prefer the night. I whoa. The moon is wonderfully calming on clear nights. Just just clear ones though. Rabu is renowned for being a very careful and reliable driver. And here I took him for the type to go wild behind the wheel. Because you went that he's an uncouth heathen. Mm, heathen. Yep. <clears throat> <clears throat> Haven't I met another careful driver recently? Yes, you have. You have! <laughs> what if all birds are careful drivers? Every birdie might be a careful driver. Every birdie. One more week until the end of August. I guess my summer job is over. I'll miss this place. Thank you for everything, Miss Birder. It's been a pleasure. Likewise, thank you for everything, Mr. Urushihara. I think I'll be back here sometime as a customer, and possibly try to work here next summer. Uh -huh. Y'all retiring early? Uh -huh. Miss Birder is a student, and so must return to her studies with the turning of the leaves. I haven't even finished half my summer homework. Ah! Oh no, look at the emote! Oh my god, they have emotes? That's amazing. What? That's what our character now canonically looks like. I, you've, we've done it. We know what our character looks like. It's that. Yep, that's it. That's what they're running around looking like. Everyone's going, woo, you are the human. Doing the last half of one week? I reckon you'll do just fine. Gonna feel real lonely around here without you, butter. Mm. At least uh, Kenzaburo isn't going anywhere. <laughs> Any, anybody. <clears throat> Naturally not. Rabu sips from his cup. I think after working here for a month, I can safely say that he accounts for the majority of the cafe's business. Everybody who comes here probably thinks of it as an oasis in the city, an island of soothing parakeet in the sea of urban life. An island of soothing parakeet? <laughs> That's amazing. It's a bird cafe, though. I'm like, holy crap. It's kind of a pity that so few people come in. Yeah, it really is, actually. Ooh, ding-a-ding-ding. -ding. Ooh, ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. Oh, welcome. 
<gasps> it's a zombie! A zombie! I was afraid we'd missed our date. I know, me too. You came. I actually thought it was maybe like off screen or something, so I wasn't sure. There we go. Ha ha! Sorry, our, our setup was tipping a little bit and I was worried everything would fall. It's all gonna dunk. A zombie! You came. <sighs> Can't exactly refuse an invitation for my sweet little protege, now can I? Huh. When did I become your protege? Okay, then. He's like, well, I can't date you, honey. Oh, Yay! Have a seat, please. Right here. Uh, please. Not over there. Uh, 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 that's Rabu. Oh, right. Uh, Azami, is that you? Oh, dear. Uh, Do oh, they dear. know each other? I bet they know each uh. other. Uh-huh. Her expression suddenly hardens. I hate that guy. It feels like the cafe is going to burst. Yeah, because she has powerful chi. Remember, we sensed it before. It feels like one of those scenes when the retired cop finally faces down the mob boss just before the bullets start flying. Oh no. Do, do, do you know each other? You might say that. Hmm. You'll disappear one day and then turn up sipping tea in a place like this? Or lift us all behind, have you? Uzami, I... H how do you think I felt these past six months? She looks ready to fly at him any moment the intense music i'm like so wow good. Uh, uh um azami notice me senpai can you calm down uh-huh i don't know what's happening between you two but mr rabu is a nice man now he drives cars and gives out candy and basically lives at the cafe the rest of the time please forgive him bows aggressively puts hands together fa you know completely in half please forgive him stay out of this kid it doesn't concern you but I work at this cafe. Uh, um, w what happened? Mr. Rabu, I've never seen her this mad. And I've seen her twice before. And once she was mad. Since when are you calling yourself Rabu? Oh, dear. I. Oh. Blast. Blaster. <gasps> Blaster. Look at that picture. I remember your sexy, rapturous eyes back then. Used to be a living legend, kid. The leader of the toughest bikers around. Back then, there wasn't a bird on the night roads who didn't know the name of Hokosawa Blaster. It's Blaster. Ooh. Um, carve it into your souls when we stand together and ain't nobody gonna hold us back. All right. And? I was young then. Every one of us Hell's birdies would have followed you to the ends of the earth. Hell's and we birdies, all knew. Like Hell's Angels? Oh my god, really? And we all knew we would have gotten there without a single traffic violation. S S since when do biker gangs obey traffic laws? You don't get it, kid. You're still a rookie. You can ride with the law. Wh huh. <clears throat> when you ride, you ride on the inside. Mm. <coughs> my <coughs> poor friend having to switch between these two. <laughs> this is intense. You okay. can do it. You were pretty famous for your strong ideals. Riding with a soul, as wild as any other gang, but never breaking the law. You were my hero. I looked up to you. But a hero doesn't run away, and you did. And you abandoned me when I was young and tender as and soon innocent. As I confessed to you, you were gone. Done with the gang tales. On to the love story. These guys move fast. Ah, I tell me, I can tell. I've hurt you. I'm sorry. You have no idea but, how badly. Uh, uh, Tension crackles in the air. I am afraid for the windows. Only Mr. Urushahara um, remains exactly as he was when it all started. Slowly polishing glasses behind the counter. Oh, he sounds like a mob boss. Like, like, this is a, no, no. a gang bar? Gang You're at the bar, bar. yeah. Yep, you like... are the bartender. No matter what's going on, it's fine. Yep, exactly. So, Mr. Rabu used to lead a biker gang, and his real fake name is... Hosokawa Blaster. This entire situation seems extremely out of place here. In an adorable <laughs> call out. kawaii coffee shop. Wait, haven't I seen the name Blaster somewhere before? Will you listen to me, Azami? It's a little late. Oh, yeah. It's a little late for that. Six months of tea and cake, and you look like Mr. Fava Bean. Where are your abs? Uh, I loved your birdie abs. M Mr. Fava Bean? Uh, oh, my God. I I'm sorry. I, Th boom. This? Pong! It's the anime. Like, ah, uh -huh. suddenly I can see it. Yep, poof! It fits so well. Bye! 
I don't like fat men. All my love for you burned up long ago. Azami subjects Mr. Favabean to a, just immediately accepts her headcanon. He has two other names and now he's Mr. Favabean. <coughs> to a harrowing tirade over his new physique. At this rate, Mr. Favabean won't be able to get a word in edgewise. I... Oh, she just tears his him apart visually. You are soft and, and chubby and cuddly and round and, and huggable and God damn it, I hate those things. You're like a plush teddy birdie. How dare you? I'm also like, that's really mean. It is. But they're also mean. like, that's. I'm like, what is with the fat shaming? Excuse me. Yeah, I don't know. But also, I'm just like. Please I, don't turn this into it, and then we got back together thing. Because also, I'm like, that's just fucking rude. Yeah, you should not date her after she does that to you, dude. But, like, why choose that to attack? Has she really stopped loving? Also, we, again, we are 100%. Like, He's now Mr. Favabee. I'm also like, like. That's the thing where I'm like, I think that your character also really doesn't respect Rabu at all. And never has, no. no. I mean, we literally, the second he yeah, walked in, used him for a joke. Oh, yeah, no, no, I know. And for, for a joke amusement. that we totally missed, but I'm still just like, that's rude as fuck. Excuse me. Yeah, Birder has been rude to him the entire time and has no respect for him. Yeah, pretty much. Huh. I should bring up... Oh, you need to interrupt. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, a zombie's martial arts... Or zombie scooter. 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 You both have scooters in common. I know Chill this. Chill out. So I feel like Birder would bring up the scooter because they both have scooters in common. It clearly relates to the gang, not the martial arts, because that could suggest more violence or fighting. Yes. And we're trying to <clears throat> e d dissuade violence and fighting. Yes. Azami, I don't think you've forgotten Mr. Fava Bean. Oh, what's all this, Birder? I think you think about him all the time. <coughs> oh! Even Blasters now. on the scooter! Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Yeah. So we picked it on accident, because I thought it was about something else. I thought so, uh, too. Oh, we picked the right thing, though. Oh, apparently, I guess, it, depending on where, where you want to go. Right. Even now. Even now. What are you talking about, kid? I know it. Yep, there it is. Yep! Your scooter right outside is emblazoned with his name. <laughs> huh? Uh, uh, huh? 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 I saw it when we first met. Writing his name right on her vehicle like that, she loves him. I'm sure of it. Hmm. You still like Mr. Fava Bean, right, Azami? Uh, Bird, uh, my name isn't. Hmm. I saw it with my own two eyes. I I'll even be... say, his name is Blaster. That's why you have Blaster written there. Right, Mr. Fava Bean? You are such a mess, This Birder. is such an anime, and I appreciate Why? where, like, there's the humor there, but I don't really find that to be funny. I don't either. I find <sighs> it to be, I find both of them being offensive to uh, our, our good individual here. Yeah. Like, I, both of them are being rude to him. I saw it with my own two eyes when you gave me a ride home and a lecture on traffic laws. Uh, yeah, you're pretty sharp for a human kid. Huh. <sighs> She's right. I haven't forgotten about you. What a sad story. You left without even saying no, and I'm still chasing your shadow. <laughs> a, a zombie, ah. Uh, trying to sympathize with me? No thanks. I've had enough of that. See, and also in reference to the whole fat shaming thing, that's the drive I decided to go <clears throat> in the direction of how dare you be plush and cuddly and fluffy and, and soft. And also it reminds me a little bit of going that angle of the uh, one wolf in Kung Fu Panda. Yeah, a two, who is incredibly gay for Poe. Who like, is super gay for Poe. Of him just soft and fluffy and, and cuddly and just, 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 just huge and plush. And, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's super gay for Poe. I, I, you threw me away. There's nothing that could change that. You... No, Wazami, listen to me. You don't know what happened. I never threw you away. I I didn't know if I could settle down with you. I was an outcast. I was a hero on the midnight roads. But would I be a good father? Think about it. Any guy will panic a little when the girl he likes confesses like that? Yes, I... But is the hero of the Midnight Riders really supposed to be that timid? I mean, honestly, it really humanizes him. And I also appreciate, like, you can use this... Like, I've seen this trope before, and also sometimes, like... I feel like people don't realize that that ow sorry that that sometimes what that is uh, is I'm completely thrown off now. Sorry. It's basically um I can't I've lost it. Never mind. I'm sorry. Okay, it's okay. Nothing. I'm sorry. My, my, <clears throat> yeah, it was my fault. All right, 
So I was to say, I like that it can humanize people when they have like basically a, they're their professional or functioning personality. Mm -hmm. And then they're basically they're, they're not in that space personality um, where it's like, yeah, when I'm leading the gang, I am in a space of being that leader. And it is a different space than I'm just being a homebody or I'm just being another person in front of you because it is a kind of a job. And it is a you know, it is a, even if it's something I've made up for myself and with myself. Mm -hmm. And I I really like that. Also, I think it's really cute that he's like, but I liked you and it just scared me because when birds get together is to make eggs. Uh, y yeah. Uh-huh. I sat down and I thought I had to go straight. I couldn't have made you happy like that. Y you. I'm sorry I left you behind. I was planning to come back to you and I'd save money, but that wasn't good either. Maybe this is destiny. Like Billikin said, our souls are being tested even now. It also sounds like he knows her really, really well because her going, uh -huh. I will berate the shit out of you and just insult your entire physical being. And he's uh -huh. going, that sounds like you when you're angry and don't, and, and are trying to basically push someone away. Mm -hmm. And so it sounds like he's familiar with this behavior and so he's not really offended by it. And even if it's not nice or okay for her to do that. It's also though, like, like a really big trope because I think I've seen a couple of them where, especially like in some animes, they really do have the, oh my God, you freaking changed so much. You're disgusting now. You're terrible, blah, blah, blah. And then they're like, well, and I miss you, damn it. And I'm like, mm -hmm. you like, just said a bunch of really aggressive shit to me. Yeah, and I was gonna say, and I don't like that he's just taking it, but at the same time, if you assume that they're really familiar and that he's familiar with that anger pattern, then he could just be like, now is not the time to deal with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. <laughs> Who's the cow blaster? <sighs> Your eyes look like they did back then. <laughs> Azami, enough girl talk. But well, we're gonna find out about the girl talk in, in the, the next, next one. one. Hey! So, thank you very much, everybody, for joining us. If you like what we do, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and also share our videos if you're having a good time with us. Please also feel free to go check out our Ko-Fi and our Patreon. We have some links in the description down below. And I have been Scandal. And I have been Lies. <gasps> and, and it was great, great playing, playing with, with you. you. Bye!